Hello, this is Trivi trying to give you a simple and straightforward as possible tutorial on how to get RPF modifications working with the GTA 5 mod manager. So first, you're going to want to make a copy of whatever RPF file your mod wants to edit. So if we have a look at our mod file, we'll see that it's update.rpf. So if we open up our GTA 5 directory to update.rpf, copy that, and we want to paste it in a completely different folder that isn't your mod folder or the GTA 5 directory. So I've created another folder here called GTA 5 RPFs and a one in that called Visual V. Paste that in there like that. So now you want to open up OpenIV like so and open an existing archive. Navigate to the update.rpf file that you have just pasted like so and you want to take a look at the structure of the mod so it goes common data time cycle so common data time cycle edit mode yes ignore this because you're most likely running your OpenIV plugins through the mod manager right click and add you want to go to your mod files select them all open and it's now replaced the vanilla files with your modded ones because it saves automatically you can just close it now open up GTA 5 mod manager should reload that import modded RPF so find the file that you just edited which is this one find the vanilla one which is this one give it a second enter a friendly name and accept. Now all you need to do is have your mod ticked, your script hook ticked and your OpenIV ASI ticked and everything will work. You can then quit the game and it will remove all the, all the relevant files automatically. You don't have to go into the directory yourself and copy around files or change the names of files just to get a vanilla install back again. So I've tried to keep this a shorter as short as possible and not really going into much detail just so I can get to the point. If you have any questions put them in the comments and I will answer them as soon as I can. Uh, this has been Trivi, hope you found this useful, see you next time.